Around this time 20 years ago, people were obsessed with one-on-one -on -one fighting games. Street Fighter 2, Mortal Kombat, King of Fighters, Tekken, Virtua Fighter. If you weren't around back then, just take my word for it that each one of these series were seen as a big deal. Fighting games are kind of a cult thing now, but back then everyone played them, both at the arcades and at home. Killer Instinct was largely seen as the next evolutionary step for fighting games. The groundwork was laid by Street Fighter 2, which refined and popularized the genre, whereas Mortal Kombat took it in a more gaudy and gory direction. King of Fighters was the first popular all-star fighting game, so to speak, featuring characters from Makari Warriors and Fatal Fury to name a couple, and Tekken and Virtua Fighter wowed people with its 3D capabilities, with Tekken even going as far as doing crazy shit like controlling each individual limb. Killer Instinct, though, focused mostly on the gameplay itself while staying in the traditional 2D fighting platform. That's why to some people, Killer Instinct comes across as kind of generic. Like, wow, a Ryu ripoff, a werewolf, a skeleton, whoopty shit, who cares? But if you dig a bit deeper, there's a lot of substance here, most obvious being the intricate move combos that are triggered by a very specific button sequence, and some of these combos are absolutely insane. These combos are Killer Instinct's trademark. They set it apart from every other fighting game. However, the downside to this is that it takes a lot of practice to be able to pull off some of the more detailed combinations, so the amount of practice required to get good at this game could drive some people away. Sure, you could play Killer Instinct the same way you would play Street Fighter and stick to the more basic stuff, but then you'd be missing a huge part of the appeal here. But again, if you didn't grow up with this game, it's going to take you a long time to get good at it. All I can really say, though, is that this game is worth it. If you put in the practice, you'll be rewarded with some really fun stuff here because the controls are every bit as crisp and precise as anything from Street Fighter. One thing in particular I admire about Killer Instinct is how diverse they made each character. The quicker fighters like Spinal and Orchid really feel fast, while the stronger guys like Fulgore and Saberwolf are really tough, can take a beating, and can unleash some really powerful combos. Bear in mind though, Orchid has one combo that is literally unstoppable, the one where she turns into a tiger, so yeah, that's kind of a problem. Killer Instinct also takes a page from Mortal Kombat and includes finishers, so to speak. Each character has two finishing combos they can do, although again, one of Orchid's finishers is pretty lame. Her boobs give these guys a heart attack? Okay. Anyway, these aren't nearly as violent as Mortal Kombat, but they're still pretty fun. One interesting thing to note about Killer Instinct is that a rearranged version of the soundtrack was released on CD and came with the first 100,000 copies of the game. This is the first instance I can remember where video game music was spotlighted as a big deal and a significant selling point of the game. People that subscribe to this channel know how much I love video game music, so yeah, it goes without saying that Killer Instinct had, if not one of the best, then certainly one of the most important soundtracks ever made. Anyway, Killer Instinct 2 arrived at the arcades shortly after this game, and a Super Nintendo port was planned, but the project was scrapped. We got Killer Instinct Gold on N64 instead, oh well. And I should also mention that there was a remake for Xbox One, but I haven't really been able to play that yet. I'm not really an Xbox guy. So yeah, Killer Instinct holds up great today because it relies on the substance in the gameplay rather than hokey gimmicks with an inherent short shelf life. In other words, you're better off playing Killer Instinct over any Mortal Kombat game any day of the week. 